Well, it is birthday time. NBC 15 and the Kalahari Resort in Wisconsin Dells are treating you to one night stay and two all day passes to their indoor theme park. Every Friday we draw another name. You have till noon the following Monday to email us or call us to claim your fabulous prize. Who's got one today? Happy birthday, everybody celebrating today. Friday, October 9th should be a beautiful day to celebrate outside. It is country singer Scotty McCreary's 22nd birthday. He is season 10 winner of American Idol. He's gone on. He's unlike some of the other contestants who you never hear from afterwards what they're doing. But he's actually come on to have a few hits. I've heard him on the radio. He's done some touring, and uh, he's kind of made a name for himself, so good for him. Fun fact, his father immigrated from Puerto Rico and worked as a manufacturing analyst, and his mother worked as a high school teacher. All right. Today's birthday winner, Sharon Campbell. Give us a call, Sharon, or an email and claim that prize. <clears throat> okay, today is National Moldy Cheese Day. <laughs> there is a National Moldy Cheese Day? It's today. Gosh. There's a so day that'd for everything. be your blue cheese, your Roquefort cheese, yeah, any of those cheeses yeah. with mold on it. I'm okay with blue cheese. Okay, on this date in uh, 1986, the musical Phantom of the Opera received its first performance at Her Majesty's Theater mm. in London. Okay. Uh, on this date uh, in 1999, the last flight of the SR-71 Blackbird, that was the fastest plane in the world at the time, and uh, it was a spy plane. Bring you down moment 2006 on this date, North Korea allegedly tested its first nuclear device. Mm. Now for your viewing pleasure. We go way, way back. Uh, this isn't from 1873, but this fellow was born on this date in 1873. You'd recognize his last name. His first name was Charles. He was a fine Charles. Was he? I'll tell, tell you his last more. name in a moment. He was born of Swedish immigrants. Uh, their last name was Olafsson, and uh, he, his name was not Charles Olafsson because they, when they immigrated to the United States, they changed their last name Olafsson to their current name. Uh, they ended up uh, moving to Knoxville, Tennessee, and eventually Galesville, Illinois, then Dixon, Illinois. In 1901, uh, this guy was working as a pharmacist at a uh, local pharmacy, and uh, he went on to buy that pharmacy as the guy retired. His last name was Walgreen, <laughs> Charles Walgreen. And uh, in the early 1900s, he expanded and in the Chicago area, had around 20 pharmacies uh, by uh, the mid-19-teens, and got a real big boost when Prohibition came around because, you know, obviously you couldn't sell or consume alcoholic beverages, but you could sell prescription whiskey, which is what oh, he sold okay. at his pharmacy. So kind of expanded a little bit through then and ended up being becoming this chain becoming the largest pharmacy in the United States. Sure. Uh, in around 1980, they bought all the Rennenbaum pharmacies in Madison. So you see all the Walgreens uh, in Madison now. Now they have uh, 8,600 stores. An interesting fact about Walgreens though, did you know this? You've seen this picture, I'm sure. Take a look at this picture. And uh, this is one of the most famous pictures ever right here. Yes. The sailor kissing mm -hmm. the nurse. What's in the background of that picture? A Walgreens. A Walgreens. Wow. On Times Square. How about that? That's pretty neat. A Walgreens Pharmacy in the background of that picture. And you said, what, 8,500 nationwide? 8,600 stores now. Most of them are in the United States. They have some in Puerto Rico, okay. Virgin Islands. Yeah. Gosh, where would we be without our Walgreens? Billions and billions Ooh. and billions of dollars in <laughs> revenue now. Yeah. He did one pretty... store outside of Chicago.